Hi there people, this is a video about this DSO138 oscilloscope kit. In the top right hand corner you can see the power input and it runs at anywhere between 9 volts and 12 volts maximum. On the top left hand corner you've got the BNC signal input and then the input coupling selector switch you've got a choice of ground, AC or DC coupled then you've got the input sensitivity choice of 1.1 volts or 10 millivolts and that works with this sensitivity control you've got a choice of times 1, times 2 or times 5 now all the input um, select information is displayed in the bottom left hand side of the screen and then you've got a reset switch here then you've got your menu controls on the right hand side um, you've got a select button, then a plus and minus button, and then OK at the top. We can adjust the vertical position. You can adjust the time base. The trigger mode so it auto always updates the screen normal updates the screen when there's a valid trigger and single captures a single trigger event and then it goes into hold you can also set the trigger polarity so low to high or high to low you can set the trigger level and you'll notice the LED in the bottom right hand corner is actually the trigger LED and in the top right hand corner of the screen you can see the trigger voltage and then you can also control the horizontal position of the wave so you're basically moving through the buffer now if I move back to the time base and hold the OK button down for three seconds you actually get an on-screen display and it gives frequency, duty cycle, peak voltages and average voltages, etc. And you can actually freeze the display by pressing the OK key. I've now connected a photo transistor to the input of the DSO to capture the output of this remote control. I have now connected one phase of this BLDC motor to the DSO138. I'm now going to apply square wave to the input and increase it in multiples of 10. So starting at 10 Hz, 100 Hz, 1 kilohertz, 10 kilohertz.
and they're going to increase it to 50 kilohertz so that's starting to reach the limits but certainly at 20 kilohertz it's not too bad Overall, I really like this DSO138. It's my first experience with surface mount components and it's gone together without a hitch. Also, I really like the um, way the firmware works and I think the documentation for this as well was really good. Um, also, I like the fact that um, you've got um, serial input, output, USB and debug ports um, so you could actually totally retask it to do other functions or you know write your own firmware for it so for the money um, if you need a scope that can do very low frequencies um, up to around 20 kilohertz audio frequencies I think it's really fantastic for that and for the price it's um, really really good anyway thank you for watching